Jim was hesitant about talking to a big company like us because he's a very much hands-on person and thought he would lose control. But we're ready for something really big, and that was the perfect project. Dennis showed Cameron some test animations, primitive but promising, and warned that the final result consisting of 20 shots wouldn't be ready for nine months. Considering the best idea up to that point had been claymation with white clay and we'd project high-speed photography of water, James agreed to Murin's gamble. So he had to send John Knoll out to babysit us and make sure we didn't screw up too badly. That was something very new for us. Uh, there were not a lot of established procedures for doing any of this work at the time. So we just dove into it and we were making it up as we went along. One of the challenges was that water is a combination of reflection and refraction. For refraction, we were going to use the background plate and distort it. But for reflection, over the course of the couple of days of shooting, I would have photographed every part of the set. But then you had to seam them all together into an environment. 